was Christmas time on the island of Sobor. The fat controllers were busy. The snow had made their journeys difficult. They had to work hard to deliver passengers and goods to their destinations on time. This made the engines feel very reliable. Elizabeth pulled into the fitter's yards with Thomas's snowplow. I don't need that silly old thing, tough Thomas. Stop the nonsense, steamed Elizabeth. You can't be a reliable engine if you can't get through the snow. That made Thomas cross. You know I'm reliable, he said. I don't like my snowplow. Elizabeth is rude, Thomas chuffed. And this snowplow makes my buffers ache. Later, Thomas saw the fat controller talking to Elizabeth. The soda pudding factory is snowed in. The Christmas puddings must get to the docks before the ship sails for the mainland. Let me do the job. I need you on your line. Besides, Elizabeth knows those roads well. She's very reliable. I'm reliable too, Puff Thomas. Apparently, not reliable enough, Elizabeth chuffed. Now Thomas was crosser still. The snow was heavy, but Thomas arrived at every station right on time. Elizabeth was struggling to stay on the road. Her reasons did not like the slippery ice at all. When Thomas arrived at the docks to pick up Terence, he was surprised that Elizabeth had not returned. The ship will miss the tide, said the dock manager. And the children won't have their Christmas puddings. Thomas, go look for Elizabeth at once. Yes, sir, grinned Thomas. Perhaps Elizabeth isn't so reliable after all. At the pudding factory, Elizabeth was piled high with crates of Christmas puddings. The fur controller's counting on me. I must not be let. She shoved on to the icy road. Suddenly, she was on a steep hill. Her driver... Her driver applied the brakes. Elizabeth slid out of control into a deep snowdrift. Poor Elizabeth. Thomas and Terence puffed through the swirling snow. They couldn't see Elizabeth anywhere. Soon they spotted her driver. He was standing by the level crossing. Elizabeth is stuck under the, the snow, he said. I need help to dig her out. Terence rescued her in no time. We'll have to hurry, said Thomas. It wasn't your fault, Elizabeth. It was the slippery roads. Elizabeth felt much better. Thomas puffed and puffed as fast as he could. They reached the docks just in time. The fat controller was delighted to see the bakery crates and Elizabeth was safe. And well, we'll get you unloaded immediately. Now the children will have their Christmas pudding, said Thomas. Well done, said the fat controller. Oh, thank you, Thomas, said Elizabeth. You and I are both reliable. Thomas agreed.